Hola amigos, bien o no, saludos desde Medellín y hoy para cambiar el tema es para hablar un poquito en cómo nosotros resolver el problema, la dificultad que es cómo mejorar nuestra nueva o nuestra aptitud en nuestra nueva lengua. Ese es el tema de hoy. So, hello again. Um, today, change the topic a bit. I'm just going to offer some thoughts and a bit of discussion on really how we go around or how I go about solving the problem of how do I improve my new language. Now, in my case, this is me trying to learn Spanish, but um, hopefully you will see from this some ideas that will help you to improve your English. But the, um, the technical word we can use for this is heuristic. Heuristic. So a heuristic is basically it's a process, a method, a technique, a way of doing something which allows a person to discover or learn something for themselves. This is key. So basically, it's the way that you solve the problem. So how do you solve the problem? Because the problem is different for each of us, um, depending on our level of ability when we start perhaps depending on our resources that we have available. That could be financial, could be the books we've got, could be the amount of time we have to spend on studying our new language. All of these things might affect the way we try to solve the problem. And obviously that might also be the level we need to get to. We could be looking at complete fluency or just uh, to be able to cope with a particular type of um, conversational interaction. So basically our heuristic is the way that we do it and it's quite an individual approach to it because once we have a heuristic, something that we know works for us, often that's the way that we will approach the problem. So whether we divide the problem into, into pieces, we split it up, the way we look at the problem, the way we think of, okay, I'm going to do it this way, the way we prioritize our solution to it. How do we do it? Well, I've touched on this topic a bit over the past videos on the channel, but I'll summarize it briefly here the way I look at it and see what you think. Déjame saber en los comentarios. But um, for me, I look at practically, because I get to practice this every day here in Medellin when I go out and talk to my neighbors, um, obviously I have to speak to them in Spanish. So I get a very quick feedback on what's the problem I need to, to get over. How bad is my Spanish? What things can't I say? What things don't I understand? Um, what's the situation I'm in when I'm not understanding or my explanation is not good enough? What kind of things am I doing here that I need to speak better Spanish? So the way I looked at it was, okay, well, let's put this, let's look at the situations I, I face most commonly. Um, and let's look at basic questions, basic phrases I'm going to need in each of those situations. So my heuristic, if you like, was to, let's look at, prioritize maybe five situations I do a lot or I encounter a lot and then in each of those maybe pick another five questions that people are commonly going to ask me and therefore my potential answers. So that way I've got the most frequently occurring things hopefully covered and outside of that because I recognize I need to get better attuned to what people are saying generally, um, I do an awful lot of listening to all sorts of things in Spanish so that my general vocabulary hopefully increases so I understand more things when I'm hearing people talk to me. Um, but I'm really just trying to prepare myself for 
very um, small sort of dialogues within particular situations. I know generally this is what I face during my general routine. So that's kind of my heuristic. My heuristic was to look at it, okay, what's the task I have? So in my case it's, well, okay, you, you live here, you need to talk to your neighbours and go out and do normal things like shopping, travel, these kind of things. Um, also, I need to be able to explain to my students about my classes, how I do them, this kind of stuff. So these are common conversations I have, so I just prepare for those. Now, your situation might be different. Maybe it's just all about your job, and that's just the, the only time when you need to use um, English, perhaps just in your job. But what kind of task do you do in your job? Are you just writing? Are you making phone calls? Are you receiving phone calls? What type of phone calls? Who are you talking to? Things like that. So that might change the heuristic you use. Then it's like, well, how do I remember this stuff? Because now I've got all this information I need to get familiar with. How do I do it? Well, I practice, as I said, I practice a lot of listening. So I get better, hopefully, at generally what the sound of Spanish is like. And that helps me listen to lots of vocabulary. Um, and I try and pick multiple sources from different people, um, different types of things. I listen to podcasts, TV news, this kind of stuff, lots of different things. So I'm, I'm listening to as wide a variety of vocabulary, voices, groups of people as I can. As well as that, when I've got my dialogues, if you like, prepared, so I know roughly this is what I want to say, this is what people generally say to me, questions I'm likely to hear, I practice these in a variety of ways. I, I, I write them down so I know what I'm supposed to say, so I can visually picture the words. I use those with flashcards. I find that for me works very well. But also I do a lot of reading aloud. By reading aloud, I get to practice speaking. I get to listen to it. I can record it. I can listen to it back. I can see if that's really a bad sound or not. Um, Obviously, I get to test this because I live with Spanish speakers, so I can test this with my family and friends here to see, does it work? Does what I say make sense? <laughs> now, there are ways you could do that. There are lots of computer programs that grab this for you and they can they kind of critique it or um, things like that. But again, that will be an example of my heuristic, the way that I approach it. So I basically look at the problem, cut it up into smaller pieces, and again, if I have to subdivide each of those pieces into easier bits, and then I look at how much time do I have in the day to do this. So around all the other things I'm doing, I have points in the day when it's easier for me to practice. So a lot of my sort of tea breaks, if you like, when I'm stopping having my cup of coffee, my cup of tea during the day, that's when I will perhaps practice through part of that dialogue maybe not the whole thing I might not have time for the whole thing but maybe I have time to practice a bit of it and if I've got an event coming up which is going to include that type of conversation I'll focus on that in the couple of days before I have to go and do that thing so again I've, I've refreshed my vocabulary before the event so there's a degree of priority but also I'm trying to be practical about how much time I have and also the amount of information I'm going to remember at any one point. So that's why I try and cut it up into smaller pieces. So there we go. Heuristics. Have a think about it because the way that you practice might be a bit different to me. I mean, maybe you just um, watch videos like this on YouTube or maybe you do, you, you do other classes. Perhaps you do some other kind of uh, practice. But really it's down to thinking about how you do it. So how do you solve that problem? How do you help yourself to improve with the thing you're trying to do? Interesting thing to think about, yeah? So I hope you find this one helpful. Déjeme saber en los comentarios, como siempre. What is your heuristic? What do you do? How do you solve this problem? Um, maybe you have better ideas than me. But let me know. Anyway, until next time, from Medellin, it's cheerio.